There's a fungus called ergot, which can occasionally be found on some cereal crops, and especially on rye. While the fungus does cause some minor damage to the plant, a more significant effect happens to mammals, including humans, who consume cereal grains contaminated with the fungus. Spores from the ergot fungus attach themselves to the flowering part of the cereal. As the flower develops into familiar clumps of seeds, some of the nutrition from the plant meant to be going into causing the seeds to grow and swell, and instead taken up by the ergot fungus. So a head or spike of seeds will have some normal seeds in it, but will also have some larger and darker seed-like growths, which are the developing ergot. If consumed, can cause some really major problems. It's because a significant proportion of the ergot is a chemical called ergotamine, which has a fairly large alkaline structure and can have a wide variety of effects on mammals that are eating it, including raising the blood pressure, narrowing the blood vessels, significantly altering the heart rate. And with vomiting, nausea, muscle cramps, anyone consuming it may also experience hallucinations, fever, and irrational behaviour. As a result of these conditions, subject may eventually get gangrene, have seizures, lose limbs, or even die. Now, ergot has been around for millions of years. Since humans started to cultivate various species of grass for food, brewing, or as fodder for animals, the risks of ergot poisoning become far greater. However, since ergot needs the spores from the previous year to attach themselves to a new crop, rotating crops with non-grain crops or even just turning over the soil between harvests, burying the ergot in just a thin layer of soil, will prevent the spores from being able to attach themselves to the new crop. Now, throughout history, there have been many instances which normally occur during wet summers when large parts of the local population are affected by ergot poisoning. However, some of the most vulnerable groups were armies on the march. These armies might eat large amounts of food rapidly. So rye contaminated with ergot could easily be baked into bread and fed to the soldiers. The problem here is ergotamine is unaffected by heat, so any contaminated bread could easily decimate an army on the march. However, probably the most debated and controversial potential cases of ergot poisoning may have occurred during the Salem witch trials. Some of the reported afflictions do bear a striking resemblance to those of ergot poisoning, but from this distance in time, it's impossible to prove whether or not ergot poisoning was actually a factor involved in the Salem witch trials.